skin, your face. The first frontier in a woman's vanity. It's just a blemish. I keep having it. What has happened to your skin? I think it's become more stubborn. There is no solution. It comes back. So you really need to put yourself in the other person's shoes. I never used to socialize. No, I always felt this complex in me. People ask me, I just avoid the, the questions. You know. First thing always comes up is appearance. You know, I was not very fair, but I had, I had uh, smooth skin. Till now, it's going on. The, the battle is going on. Skin, the first frontier in a woman's vanity. Most women, even women who don't consider themselves vain, are conscious of their skin. Well, on this edition of Women on Top, how to nourish your skin, how to deal with all those skin issues. In fact, the A to Z of skin care and to walk us through that is Dr. Ravi Joshi, Senior Consultant Dermatologist with Apollo Hospitals, and Nidhi Vadva. She's a designer and an illustrator of children's books. Thank you both very much for joining us on Women on Top. Uh, Nidhi, I know you've dealt with difficult skin. I'm going to come to that in just a moment. Uh, but Dr. Joshi, we all have varying degrees of skin problems. But, you know, in the textbook definition of healthy skin, what would you write? If it looks a bit shiny, it has got a smooth texture, no wrinkling, elasticity is there. I think that's a very youthful, good, young looking skin. Well, Nidhi is with us on the show today, but first we're going to take a brief glimpse into her life, the skin problems that she's dealt with and how she's coping with them. And I've been facing skin problems since I was in school and I've, I've gone through a very tough time before. Well, I had a lot of acne and, and used to have bl blackheads and white, white heads too. And uh, I used, used to have red rashes and, you know, uh, rough skin most of the time. And it never used to glow, even if I put a lot of products on my face, uh, whether it's herbal or creams or any homeopathic uh, medicines also I tried. But nothing happened. Maybe uh, you've had skin that's been... Uh well, if I may use the word troublesome for you, um, uh, what have been the typical problems for you? Normally, in fact, I can't put anything on my face and if I put anything, whether cream or makeup, you know, rashes come on my face, uh, redness is there, then after some time I find um, acne, so I have a lot of problems. I used to have more problems before. You've also got oily skin problem and essentially you've got sensitive skin, so you've got to be very careful about what you put onto your skin. But tell me, how would you deal with it? I mean, what advice would you give Nidhi? Absolutely. Before sleeping, at night time, we always advise to use a mild kind of cleanser or face wash. And also person like her must use what we call non-comedogenic moisturizing creams. And what is non-comedogenic? Those creams that they haven't got the poly or saturated fat in them, so they do not block our pores in the skin. As a result, they do not get what Nidhi mentioned, mild acne or blocking of the pores. But